says, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey, every, obey everything I've commanded you. And surely I'm with you to always to the end of the day. John 3, 16, he says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Everything inside of him was about sharing his faith and proclaiming the good news of Christ. Everything inside of him. You might say, well, that's not my mission. But if you see God moving, that may be where you want to move your mission to. He said, but the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me, rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To be blood washed, to be, to be born again, to be a child of the living God, to understand that your position is always there. Once you have received Jesus Christ in your life, that is the vantage point from which we stand. We always have the high ground. Not to, but you know what? I know who I am and I know the call on my life and what I'm supposed to be doing. We are chosen, we are royal, we are holy for a reason. And you know what the reason is? It's so that we can declare the praises of Him who called you out of the darkness. He may want you to respond in a way that's different from your usual way. So today I'm telling you to stay in the fight. Don't fold. Pull your strap down. Stay in it. It's worth the fight. Because in due time, in due time you'll reap a harvest. In due time you'll reap a harvest. To Him be the glory forever and ever. Amen.